Deer tag in my pocket, rifle in the truck. It's me and it's you if you so decide to come, but we got a rifle, we got a deer tag, we got a knife, we got some game bags. We have a little bit of knowledge of this area. It's our hometown. And you guys, we're deer hunting. We are rifle deer hunting. If I haven't made that clear, I've been a jumbled mess this morning. I know, I apologize. Uh, I typically am riding in that seat of someone else's truck taking video, so bear with me. Uh, I believe we have everything we need. Sunrise isn't for another hour and 50 something minutes. About a 40 minute drive to where we're going. Let's go figure this out. We just killed a buck. That was sick. Just recorded that whole intro in slow-mo on my new phone. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Logan here. Currently eating breakfast. Maverick burrito. Um, deer tag in my pocket. Rifle in the truck. You guys coming along. Casey is uh, otherwise preoccupied at this moment. And so uh, looks like it's just gonna be us. It has snowed a little bit, not a ton. I doubt there will be much snow where we're going, which um, is a spot I would like to check off my box of spots. Uh, I typically am riding in that seat of someone else's truck taking video, so bear with me. About a 40 minute drive to where we're going, and uh, I'd like to hike in in the dark a little bit at least. Not a ton ton, but let's go figure this out. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap on this morning. Sorry there wasn't a ton of like B-roll and stuff. I realized it's a lot easier to produce content when I'm filming somebody else and not filming myself on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Which by the way, hopefully this quality looks pretty good. I figure while I'm solo, I do a lot of filming on just my phone. The new camera is a 48 megapixel 4K 60 frames, so. Hopefully this looks good, I need to get my labs. So the program really for this hunt is gonna be just mornings and evenings been running back home in the afternoon to get some work done and you know have time with the family I guess but every all of my spots up here I can uh, easily access from home so just head home and I'm currently cutting the Alaska series right now for you guys change real quick then run into the shop and start working saw about like 20 deer um, so no shortage just all does and fawns, um, one spike, and I believe a small two point. That's about it. I don't have a freaking digi cam adapter on this new phone either, so sun's probably gonna suck for you guys to watch unless I kill a deer, which I'm hoping for, and which you should be hoping for. So head to the shop. Uh, maybe Casey will go out with me tonight. We will see, but until then, peace, peace out. Alright you guys, 
Well, the evening hunt has changed. <laughs> I rolled up to the top heading to my spot and uh, I saw these guys parked in their truck and they were looking in the direction I was gonna go. So I was like, I figured I'd stop and talk to them, make sure that uh, I wasn't gonna screw them up. And they had a big old hush sticker in the back window. So they're pretty cool people. Um, they were looking at this group of deer down here and sure enough, we saw a buck and uh, made a plan on him, came around. I didn't film what just went down, but I'll let, I'll let you tell. Well, welcome, to the, welcome to the video. Hey. How, how'd it go down? What uh, just happened? So we saw the buck over there and they were surrounded by those. And then the buck came out and like clear, I had a clear shot and I shot him and well, he's down. Like a so hundred yards? Him. Yeah. Got him. Oh, that <laughs> smoked him. Hammer down on a smoked buck. Him. Sweet buck too. Thank you. Uh, she with her cousin Joel? Yeah, yeah, Joel. Got Joel here. All thanks to these guys. Yep. Literally rolled up and saw him. And I said, who has the tag? And he said, her. And she was in the back seat. Yeah, and I said, I'll go help these guys out. And yeah, didn't really have to do much. <laughs> Just kind of watched it happen. Yeah, I'll go get the side by side and uh, we'll get out here. come down here. You, you shot a sweet buck. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. That's rad. All right. That's the second buck of the year in the old Can Am. Got him out whole. Okay. Job team. Thank you. Boom, Appreciate boom, the hush boom. life, guys. <laughs> This Cameraman. is spontaneous. <laughs> Cameraman's awesome, I appreciate you. Yeah. Heck yeah, thanks guys. Look at this guy, Mr. Lightbar. What's up, butthead? Whoa, dude, that's a bright bar you got, dude. Bar. It's, it's gonna be cold today, boys. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I have a spectacle bar. have you guys on the lab now check it out so you're hearing me through this microphone it might be better so far my whole hunt has been filmed on this 14 pro max it's kind of cool i think the quality looks you know pretty dang good for what it is but in light of the storm and the fog we've moved in to this lower elevation canyon that i actually don't think i've been in before and we're seeing deer uh, multiple groups of does just looking for a buck you can just see like look how fast these clouds are moving Clouds are moving fast. But this low, this low stuff might be good because this might be where they're going to get out of the weather. So I'll keep you updated. And uh, fingers crossed. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Current time is 545. We are heading in on another day of the Idaho deer hunt. The cameraman, your boy Logie Bear, today's different. So when we last hung out, me and all of you guys, uh, we helped a nice young lady kill a buck. And that was very, very unexpected. Didn't see that coming, but uh, it happened and it was awesome. Cool experience, glad I was part of it. And today is a new day. We are heading out to a spot we haven't been to this year. First morning, I went out solo to one spot, um, really slow, saw a bunch of does, fawns, two smaller bucks, but I saw 20 deer, um, just no big bucks. And then that night, I went up to Antelope Island, and that's when I helped the girl kill the buck. Then yesterday morning, went out with Casey for the first time, and Gage and Winston came. Couldn't go out last night. And then today we are going with my good buddy Bryce and his horses. We're gonna go to a new spot that we haven't been to yet this year. We're taking the horses in. 
We're gonna do cowboy stuff. I love it when we hunt off horses. We're, we're heading there right now. We're heading to meet up with Bryce and Casey. Come along with us. So we're just riding up. Um, Bryce actually spotted a buck up here. I don't have a digiscope for my new phone, so I apologize. Just a little three point. There's a three on his back fork on his right side and a three on his front fork on his left side. We're just working up this draw. First buck we've seen today. Temperatures definitely have dropped. We're supposed to get a storm coming in here a little later. In a few hours it's supposed to snow. But this has been good, man. Like the weather's been cold and uh, gotten some snow for October, what is it, 26th? Yeah, it's October 26th. We've had solid like five days, pretty cold. Colder than typical, I would say. But we're seeing deer that's still on their feet, so hunting off horses is cool. Blaze is doing pretty good. He's still really young. Had to be a little hard on the reins, but I'll tell you one thing, sure beats a heck out of walking. It's funny too, animals react different, like that buck throws up on the side hill. I feel like he stuck around for longer than if it was, would have just been us on our feet. He's looking at the horses like, who knows? So there's cows in here too, so they're walking, their hooves and stuff just sound like animals, you know. But we're gonna keep motoring. Hopefully we can find a big boy tucked up in here. It's the country to do it, that's for sure. So let's do it, Blaze. Probably be about 10 miles. 
We're like three, three and a half in so far. Seen quite a few deer. Probably like 20 deer so far, a couple small bucks. Still nothing giant, but I really like where we're heading. The peak of this mountain where we're heading, basically all the big canyons and draws that we've been hunting and that we've hunted in previous years when we've had this tag all lead up to this big mountain. So that's what we're doing. Um, we're about a third of the way there and uh, we're just working country and just glassing as we go. Um, that's what we're doing so far. As I dove from earlier and uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. So we're gonna kind of keep working and uh, hopefully we get into a big one, guys. I'm starting to feel that like, oh shoot, we have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and that's it. So Casey's out in Wyoming right now chasing antelope with Matt. Brian's back on his Idaho elk hunt. And I'm not sure where Eric is, but we're out here doing it. Cameraman's holding it down for you guys. So hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can make a show out of this. Let's go. closer to the end of our hike but we found a bug and he's running it's not like full rut but you can tell he's dabbling and so uh, we're, we're getting closer we're gonna go get closer it's about a mile away as the crow flies and we kind of have a plan to get closer but it got me excited I told terrence i said let's glass for a little bit longer keep tabs on him and then uh, if you don't see anything Let's just go get close with the intent of killing that deer. And if we can get close and he's still out there, if we want to make a call to shoot him, we will. So that's what we're doing. Here we go.
We are tagged out. Yes! Give me some, dude. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's not moving. No. Nope, dude, I'm stoked. I am stoked. That deer got me excited. <laughs> we made a heck of a stock. You guys! We did it! Hold on, there's deer around there. Dude, that hammered him. Oh, yeah. Just oh, kneeling off the backpack. <laughs> did you get good footage? Yes! We just killed a buck. I'm freaking out, dude. That was awesome, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I haven't got the best footage of this whole hunt just because I've been doing it solo and it's hard to pack around. Big old camera and it's just like, I'm always stressed because I'm not the best glasser. Like I don't get a hunt on my own a lot. So I was really trying to stay focused in the field. And so I had just gotten this new phone, the 14 Pro Max. So hopefully the footage has been good. I haven't had a phone scope either. Luckily, Terrence, who came with me today, he had a cam, scope cam, literally a mile away. All the way up there, we spotted him, worked down to here, or yeah, Terrence spotted him and uh, worked down to here. And looking up, you could still see him behind us and I figured if we just go through these trees, get up this, come at this, he'll still be right there, 230 yards. Smoked him. Coming through here, I got nervous, like right down there, a doe busted and I stopped. And sure enough, like six more does busted up and uh, we got a dead buck up there. <laughs> we have one heck of a pack out too, so let's get up there and check him out. You were scraping. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> He's so sick. Yeah, he is. I saw, I could see that four. I was like, I was like it's a three point frame with an extra. And then this side, he was a five. Weird eye guards. Yeah, that's a good buck. Dude, he's great, man. I appreciate the heck out of you. All right, you guys, here he is. I could tell he had like big fronts. Dude, I think he's a five on his right side. Look at this crazy beam. Laid it through here. So we got five on that side. And this side's just like a wild three point with a weird fourth, like a white tail almost. <laughs> and look at these eye guards. Look at these things. Yeah, he's been, he's been rubbing. He was rutting when we saw him. This is the first yo there we saw. Actually like rutting, look at that eye guard. Isn't that wild? <laughs> Dude, I'm stoked with this deer. Just kind of like an old, weird. Yeah, mature. Definitely mature. Big body. He was rutting hard. Big old body. Did it go through? Yeah, dude, I was aiming. Yeah, this is exit. Yeah. Freaking passed right through. Yeah, I was aiming like right here. And the gun's been shooting a little high at 300, and he was at 230, so it hit a little high, but high shoulder, no issues. He died immediately. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna start cutting them up. We don't have a ton of daylight and we have, what, another five miles? Four or five miles, yeah. Four or five miles to get this guy out. He's big body mule deer, so. Dang, that's rad. Well, heck yeah. That bad girl loaded up on the pack. The weather be on there. Got some, I think I got the fronts, and the back straps, and the head and the gun. Terrence got both hinds, neck roasts, and a big heart. Oh yeah. Big old heart. <laughs> We got it done, you guys. It's a wrap on Idaho Mule Deer 2022 for your boy, Logie Bear. It's been a grind, it's been fun. It was fun to help that girl out, shoot her buck. And then we find this gnarly old guy and uh, made it happen. Terrence, can't thank you enough, buddy. It's been a heck of a day. We got, a, got like five miles in front of us through some mountains, so it's getting dark too. Um, we better get after it, but we'll do a recap at the shop. I'll talk to you guys there. What is up everybody? We are back in the shop. We made it. It is a couple months later. I've actually already got my meat processed and back at home we've been eating on it already. Me and Terrence were able to pack my buck out. We actually didn't get back to his truck until like 10.30 that night. We ended up making a small miscalculation on how long it would take to get out. It was actually more like eight and a half miles to get out of there. But I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, it was a little different because I'm used to packing around this big camera which you guys are seeing right here, and only worrying about getting shots and filming the people around me, filming B-roll and stuff, but it changes things. And now I have a greater appreciation for those that go out and film everything on their own and make it look epic. I get this question asked all the time as a cameraman, is what camera do you recommend me investing in to start filming my hunts? And my biggest answer that I've given most everybody that asks me this question that are just getting into the making hunting videos and just wanna film their adventures or experiences, I always say start with the camera you already have and what better way than 
to film this entire hunt on my phone. I literally filmed this entire hunt from my phone just to show you guys that it is possible. Let me grab my phone. This entire hunt was literally filmed from an iPhone, this phone right here. I filmed it all on my iPhone and edited it in Final Cut Pro, um, but it is possible. I just wanted to show you guys. You don't need some big fancy camera to tell a story. I feel like I was able to tell a story pretty well with just this in my pocket. What you can see here is the laughs. I didn't use these as much. I started using them later on different hunts, but I didn't realize how valuable having a lav system is. So this is wirelessly transmitting to this, which plugs right into my phone. So the audio you guys are hearing right now is not from the camera, but from this and my phone transmitting. So it was really cool and eye-opening for me that uh, it can be done. You can film an entire hunt from your phone, edit that hunt and make it into a story, make it a presentable movie. And that's what I did with this one. I don't know if I'll do it again. I've hunted on my own before, but this was a big deal to me because this tag was important and I really wanted to focus on being in the hunt and not worried about filming like I am on every hunt that I go on with the guys. So thanks for watching you guys. Believe it or not, I already got the head back. Here he is. Big time crit actually helped me out. Um, link his Instagram right here. He's been kind of being an intern for us lately, being a daily cameraman, but he also does skulls and look at that thing. He crushed it. So this is my buck. This is the buck you guys saw me packing out. Weird four point frame with bigger front, smaller backs, extra. Look at his goofy eye guards. But it was awesome, I was stoked. This is the most mature mule deer we ended up seeing and I was stoked to make a great shot and uh, one and done, got him packed out. But thank you guys so much for watching and all of your support. Let me know if you guys liked the video. I don't have any major plans on doing any more hunting on my own for a while. We have a couple more hunts the rest of this year and I'll be filming other people, but it was fun to actually have a tag in my pocket for my hunt. And you know, I kind of did the scouting, I did everything on my own, and this is what we came out with. So, stoked on that. Idaho, mule deer, cameraman, hunt, whatever, over and out. Thanks guys. Whew.